guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make your own yogurt with only two ingredients you get the full fat coconut milk um, I actually just ordered this box off of Amazon something to look out for when you are getting canned food in general is that you want to make sure that there's no BPA in it that's one thing that I look for also organic not everybody cares about organic oh I need that you are also gonna need a can opener and the second ingredient you will need is some probiotics i got these like two years ago uh, when i was sick and i had to go to hospital and take some antibiotics so i wanted to get some probiotics to kind of cancel that out just got these at cvs because i just like i really needed them so these are i'm not going to like recommend these ones because i'm not even it's only 500 milligrams and i don't really even know what that means but they're preservative free they have no like added fillers or anything like that just look for that the other thing you will need is a bowl a fork and like a cheesecloth type thing i'm just using um my produce bag you can if you have a nut milk bag that will work as well so you're just going to open your can and empty it into the bowl so you can use just like a regular bowl, but I like to use one of my containers. So then when the next step comes, I can just take the cheesecloth off and put the lid on and put it in the fridge that way. But again, it's not necessary. The first time I made it, I just made it in a regular bowl. So make sure you get everything out of there. And this is just a plain yogurt recipe. You can add some fruit to it if you want, like maybe thaw out some wild blueberries. And once the yogurt is fully done, you can add that into it. I like to add the wild blueberry powder to it. It's really good. Also like to just uh, eat it plain with some granola and sliced banana. It is so good. And I'm thinking about making a recipe video that involves this coconut yogurt and make like, <clears throat> excuse me, a banana cream pie. So yeah, if you would like to know that recipe and want to see how it's made, comment down below and let me know. Once it's like kind of mixed, you can take two of your probiotics and just open up the capsule and put the powder inside. I actually don't really take probiotics that frequently, <clears throat> only if I have taken pharmaceuticals. So these ones are like literally about to expire next month. So I was like super excited that I had a purpose for them. <laughs> so once you empty the capsules in there, just start mixing up. If you have a whisk, that would actually be better than a fork. I just don't have one. So just mix it up as well as you can. It's okay to leave some chunks in it by the time that it's like settled. I, I've, I've left like, probably let me show you. Like chunks like that. Like I've left that in there and like let it sit overnight. And by the time I'm like ready to eat the yogurt, there's no chunks in it. I'm not really sure how that works, but oh shit. Try not to spill it. 
literally have it sprayed all over the table. <laughs> Another thing to look for when you get the coconut milk is just make sure that the ingredients is just coconut and water or like just two ingredients. Make sure there's not like any hidden crap like natural flavors or sugar or you know anything that's not supposed to be in there. I'm literally spilling it all over the place. Uh, maybe you'll want to have some paper towels also to clean up your mess. Okay, so this is like the consistency that I mix it up into. It doesn't have to be like super smooth. By the time it sits overnight, it will be. Okay, I'm going to grab a paper towel to clean up this mess. And... Just clean up any edges if you've spilled the coconut milk everywhere. <laughs> and then you just take your cheesecloth, nut milk bag, produce bag, whatever, as long as it can breathe through it. <clears throat> and no bugs can get in there because you're gonna leave it out on your counter for 24 hours. And that's pretty much it. So you leave it out for a whole day since you started it. So I started it at what time? I don't know, I can't see, but I'll check later. <laughs> so say I started it at 12, then tomorrow at 12, I will take it out of this bag, put the lid on the container and put it in the fridge for a day. And then you're, it's ready to eat. And that's about it. So yeah, like I said, once it's all done, you can put granola in it, you can put bananas in it, it's really good that way, or you can do the thawed out fruit and put that into it so it's like a parfait. You could also stay tuned and make the banana cream pie that I'm gonna prepare a recipe for. I don't have one yet, but I'm pretty good at making things up with whatever ingredients I have. So um, as far as I know right now, you will need the yogurt, so coconut milk, canned coconut milk and probiotics. You'll need bananas and you'll need some granola. Some granola that I recommend. This granola, grain free. It's just almonds, maple syrup, coconut, sunflower seeds, coconut oil, almond butter, salt, cinnamon, vanilla extract. And then there's another grain free granola that I really like, the Purely Elizabeth's. And that's basically the same as like pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, just a bunch of seeds and nuts. Um, I also have a grain-free granola recipe that I will probably be putting out on here. So stay tuned for that as well. But yeah, that's about it. I hope that you enjoy this. So remember, it stays out on the counter for 24 hours. And then after that, you take this off, you put your lid on and you put it in the fridge for a day. So it lets it get all like thick and cool and creamy and it's so good. We're obsessed with it. I've been making it like uh, like every three days or something because like it takes a couple days for it to be made. But this is about three servings depending on how much yogurt you eat. There's three of us here right now and we each have a serving if we mix it with you know, granola and bananas. It's, it's like one serving that way, but if you're not mixing with anything, I'd say like two servings. I'm gonna leave this out on the counter and then tomorrow I will put it in the fridge and then it will be ready to eat. So let me know if you decide you're gonna make this and if you do, let me know in the comments how it turns out. Yeah, if you like yogurt, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe.